Kenneth Metzger. I want to welcome you back to the Network Marketers Den. And I am really excited uh, to share today um, a special guest. And he is coming to us all the way from beautiful Spain. Um, we were talking earlier about where he lives and how beautiful it is. And I'm thinking about the snow that I'm going to get. So, but uh, today um, our special guest is Gonzalo Artiak and he is from Spain. He um, has a ton of experience, not only in business, but he and his partners are opening up a direct selling company. And he has got some really special tips for you on what has made him so, so successful in all areas of his life, but especially with his upcoming new, uh, new company that is starting. So, so Gonzalo, I want to welcome you to our podcast. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you. It's a big pleasure to, to be here and an honor. It is an honor for me. You know, we met on LinkedIn and uh, I was so excited that you reached out to me. And, and as I read more and studied more, I went, wow, this guy is really, really successful and would be perfect for our audience. Um, so do you just want to tell everybody a little bit about where you live and your family? You are a busy guy. I, I am. I have four kids and the other one is six and a half. So you can bet I'm a busy man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And living in Spain, where? Just give everybody a description. Yes. It sounded so beautiful to me. I, I come from, from Bilbao, which is north of Spain, uh, very close to the borderline in, in, with France. Actually, I'm half French. No one is perfect. And one of my mistakes <laughs> is being half French. <laughs> And, and it's, a, it's a beautiful region. It's the Spanish Basque country. We, have, we live by the seaside. We have mountain, very good gastronomy. It's a, a, it's a very nice spot in the, in the yeah. planet to, to live. I, I travel a lot worldwide. And, and we are now launching our American company with Gary Haven the founder of Curves, and as I call him, my, my American dad, and he calls me his Spanish son, and with Antonio Barrera, that it's my Mexican brother. So the three of us, we, we, we are launching this company, Belia, in direct sales, and we are super excited. As I told you, it's, for me, it's a dream coming true. Right, and that is so great. I mean, you've had a lot of experience, but... Um, you know, as a franchisee, you've had a lot of jewelry expense or experience, but can you tell our audience why you decided on, you know, opening a brand new company and there's so many different directions you can go. Why did you decide to go on the direct selling model? I guess, what do you love so much about direct sales? It's, it's been a very conscious uh, decision and a decision that we have been maturing for three and a half years that it's when we decided we would build that company, the three of us, and we wanted this company to, to, to become global. So we needed to be something that was possible to make global and a company where we could include all of our friends that we have been working in the last 20 years and we have built businesses with them in over 80 countries. And we've been looking at many different industries, many different products, many different ways of delivering that product. And we were already getting very close to, to, to direct sales. And the, the pandemic was like the definitive uh, reason to, to, to build a, a direct sales company. We, the model we have created, we call it e-tail because it brings the best of retail and the best of e-commerce. And you, you can go and be as physical as you need, but also if needed, you can do all your business with your smartphone. And with a smartphone, yeah. yeah that's like one of the, the, the reasons we, we, we decided to be able to bring all of our friends back again and, and be able to, to do a global company in over 80 countries, even if we now focus only on the US for the launch, but we will very soon be global and then a company that could be physical but also completely online if needed right right and you know one of the things you've told me is that you guys are 
COVID proof. And I, I really, really like that. Um, for a direct seller, um, it, that is that is so, so important. You've got to continue uh, to, to grow your business and do your business. And I think you're going to find that um, that's how your customers like to shop now. Yeah. 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 I think we, we have all been exposed to, to this need of, of shopping online. And, and I, and that's also one of the reasons that direct sales is growing and booming so fast because now I think that many, uh, we call them brand partners in our case brand partners will feel more legitimate to go to their friends and colleagues to say okay I, you should check my products they are super and we bring them directly to your sure home. sure uh, advantage yeah no you're absolutely right it is um you know if if as good things good things always come out of something bad and that is one good thing with uh, the pandemic is that it is legitimized uh, our, uh, our industry. So now you, you personally don't have a background in direct sales, but do you want to just talk a little bit about um, how you surround yourself? You kind of surround yourself with people that are really good at what they do. So you want to talk a little bit to our audience about the importance of surrounding yourself with talent and what your philosophy is? Yeah, I, I, I think that's something we, at, at least I, I always aim to, to be surrounded that they are about people that they are honest, that they are better than me in at least one area and that they really want to work with us. And that's what we have looked at for Belia. We've been building this company in the last uh, eight to 10 months now. And we, we, as we are not experts, as you say, in direct sales, even if Antonio has some experience in direct sales. We've been looking at the very best and we've been partnering up with the Sheffield Group, with Thinkbox, with Crato, with Exigo, with Technavi, with all these big names in, in, in direct sales that really wanted to, to help us. And we've been also challenging them with the things we wanted to change or improve in direct sales. So it's been a, a beautiful journey and, and I think that, that Belia is the, the good result of all those hours sure. of, of, of work and, and challenging and, and creating what we think a direct sales companies should look like in 2021. Right. And, you know, that's whether you are um, an owner of a company or you are someone who is a representative or a distributor, whatever your company has, is that you have to surround yourself with really strong people because you can't be all things to all people. So that's, that's, uh, and that, that philosophy has carried you really, really far. Um, you know, the other thing when I, when I, and you guys will have to take a peek at uh, Gonzalo's bio on, on LinkedIn and there's some really great things, but I'll tell you what caught my eye when I, um, when I watched your video, even though after we had connected, you have a very unique title. You know, I've heard of CFOs and CSOs and COOs and you name the C, but do you want to tell everybody what your title is for your company? I, I, I named myself the CHO. The is, CHO, okay. Yeah, Chief Happiness Officer. <laughs> okay, what is a Chief Happiness Officer? You got to tell us. I mean, that's yes. unique. Yes. I love it. I love it. First of all, I, I was nicknamed Happy when I was only a couple of months old. And till today, 44 years later, uh, most of people will call me Happy. Some people don't even know what my real name is. Oh, real. <laughs> Well, I like that. I like that's a, yeah. That is a great name to have. That is absolutely a great name to have. I think there are worse nicknames than that. That's, that's, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. So what what is the role of somebody that's a happiness officer? What do you, what do you, what do you do? How do you inspire others? Because that to me is what you, what you need to do. So it's so important in our industry um, what do you do to inspire, you know, could you give us a couple, couple things that you do to inspire people on your team? 
Well, I think that, that the same thing that we will encourage everyone. We will always encourage to dream big, to plan accordingly to, to those uh, dreams and to execute as well as you can and with a Kaizen mentality of improving things again and again. And, and for achieving all those things, I think it's very important to, to surround yourself of people that are better than you in every area and that they, they will uplift you to, and, and to be also very rigorous with all the content that you uh, are working on and reading and building uh, to well to to be sure that your m mind and your attitude are are correct and and persevere. I think that's right. the 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 way to do it. Yeah, and and you know one of the things you do is you're leading by example because you know this is the first time we've talked live, but I can tell you you've just got a smile on your face all the time mm -hmm. and have that right attitude and that for somebody that's in network marketing or direct sales, no matter where you're at in your company, you've got to, I mean, you're selling a lot of fun things. You want to make sure that, that you're exposing that. So to me, that is, that is really, really key. Having, having the ability to recognize others and do what you want other people to do. Um, so let me ask you this because you are so upbeat and you are so happy all of the time. How do you keep yourself going? I mean, you're, you're, I, I, I'm tired listening to you. So tell yeah. me how you can keep yourself inspired. No, I, I think it's liking the things you do and liking the people you, you, you do it. For me, that's the key. And, and I will always say working is, is mandatory. I mean, or either you have, you are super rich or you will have to work, but being an entrepreneur is not mandatory. So if you do it, you better do it with the most and best enthusiasm in something that really turns you on and with people that you like to be around and to build together. If you're not going to do that, you better find a normal job. That would be my suggestion. And right. that's what I do. I love working with Gary. I love working with Tonya. I love working with... Uh, Jonah with Crystal, with Liz, with Elena, with all the team and, and with the field. I mean, it's fantastic. Every uh, Yesterday, we were in, in a Zoom over 100 people. I mean, oh my goodness. What, what, what else can you ask uh, for, for a Sunday evening, uh, sharing and creating? So it's, that's, that's our our petrol and our and what uh, fills our engines right right so it what i'm hearing you say is it's something you're doing something that you absolutely love and you know i think the other thing that keeps you going and you, you're so modest about it is that you did have a really big goal that you that that kept you going every single day i mean three and a half years is a long time to work on a goal most of us want you know, as, as they say here in the United States, we're a microwave society. We want it right now, but that doesn't happen. I, I am too a little bit. We all want fast and big, but at the same time, I, I'm always in long term. In all the things that I do, I think about the next 25 years. For me, I, it doesn't make sense if, if we are not, and, and this is very funny. When building the company, they would ask us what was the, stra the strategy plan. There is no strategy plan. We want to build this and we want to do it and we want to, to enjoy the, the, the ride. And, right, right. And, and it's, it's the way we, 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 we do things. And, and then, of course, life happens and who knows. But at least the, the mentality and the ideas building solid building long-term relationships and and that's again as a consequence of that you get this kind of opportunities with, like with Belia with Belia we have so many people in so many countries that they are waiting 
for us to tell them, okay, you can go and start uh, the activity in your country because we have built over the last 20 years fantastic business relationships and even friendship and in some kinds I would say they are even family right all right on the world during these last uh, two decades but but that is so that is so so key one of the most important skills that you've got to have as a network marketer no matter what level you're at is you've got to be really good at building those relationships it, it you know if you if if you don't have a relationship people People will leave if you don't have a strong relationship with them. So that, that to me is, is really, really key. Um, so what advice would you give to somebody that is maybe thinking of starting a network mar marketing company or um, at, like you are, or um, starting their network marketing business? What would you say and if you had to pick a couple things, what would you say are probably the most important things that they need to do? For me, it's as important all the work you do before launching your company than the work you do later. Because later, there are many things that you cannot longer choose. And because you have already chosen your product, your channel, your brand, the way you are going to do things. Right, and, right. And, and I think it's very important to... to to very well do the homework because direct sales, I think it's a super way of uh, delivering a product and that it's very much with, with the times we are living and that it's only going to improve and, and grow, but it's not for every kind of a product. It's not for every kind of person. So I will advise them to, to really get to know the industry and to and to get surrounded by honest people that are saving the industry and that they can ask them the the hard questions uh, tough questions uh, to to be sure that that they that this is the best way they can build their company right that that is really good advice because there are a lot of pop up businesses now in in direct selling every time I turn around I see two or three new every single day and you know I've been in the market for so long but I'm going I haven't heard of that one haven't heard of that one so there's a lot of that but I think what makes um, that that advice about doing your research is so important and, and the other thing is you know it's um, one of the things that it's great to have a brand new company but yet the great thing is you guys have also the financial backing. So if you are a network marketer and you're looking at what companies to join, there are some certain things you need to look at and you want to make sure that the company does have a strong, um, strong leadership team. And you guys do um, because of all of the experience that you have. So I think that's really, really important. So, so now you're getting ready to launch um, and we'll, we'll give everybody some some details there, but um, you want to just tell everybody what um, what you are willing, what what you're offering um, as as a gift to all of all of our podcast listeners, because yeah, I think you said it's April fourteenth, something like that. You're launching. That's your big did yeah. big date. We 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 already did the pre launch. Okay. And we are fully operating. And, and we already have uh, clients buying our jewelry and we have brand partners and, and the app is up and running. So we are functioning, uh, and, but we, we wanted to, to do like in phases to, to be sure that before we, we accelerate fully, everything sure. is, is uh, working uh, perfectly, which is, Everything is working. I, of course, there are always little things to improve, but we are very happy and satisfied that the, the way all the integrations are working and how everything is, is happening. And, and yeah, we have our, our soft launch in, in April and our official launch in, 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 in July. But okay. we, are already, we are already functioning for one month now. Uh, and... And as I said yesterday, we, we had already 100 people joining our opportunity calls that we are doing three opportunities calls per week where you can 
uh, know everything about Belia, uh, about the founders, about our vision, about our culture, our values, that we really give a lot of weight to, to, to our values. And of course, the, the our generous compensation plan and how to, to start with, with sure. us. And we sure. are doing this three times that, a week. That is really great support that you're doing um, the uh, opportunity meetings. And three times a week is more than what most companies will do. But I would encourage our listeners, um, whatever company you're with, um, you want to take advantage of those opportunity meetings because you have somebody um, that is leading them that you're working with the experts. And that's the best part about this industry is that you can kind of plug and play and it's, it's totally duplicatable. But uh, um, I, I did not realize you had one on a Sunday because I would have been on the call yesterday to, to learn a little bit more, but you're in the pre-launch. So what is it that you're offering anybody um, that uh, takes advantage of, of purchasing or joining the company before the official, before uh, the April 14th? Okay. Right now we are, we have the, the 250 founders program as we call it. And, okay. and the people joining now, they 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 are getting the e suite uh, for, for free, which is the the back office and all the services that the software uh, does, and and they are getting a rebate on the on all the products that they buy the the, the first month. Okay, so that's what we are doing for for all the people joining us for this month. We are also selecting for our belly elite candidates and is the people that really want to 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 join us for the full journey and and do this as a full time and and build a, a very robust and solid uh, network and and these people they 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 will be part of a program and if they accomplish certain things in their first 90 days and in the second 90 days they will be at Belia Lead members and they will be part of a pool of revenues of the of the company. Okay. And so that's I, I think it's probably one of the most the best opportunities that there are in the in, in the direct sales industry right now. And for all the, the people that are listening to us and they might only be interested in the in the pieces if they uh, buy something before our pre-launch, so before uh, April the 14th, they will get a 25% gift certificate and they, they have to email before at ask at belliaworld.com. Uh, Great. And and there will be, um, as you're listening to this podcast, we will have all of this uh, information all uh, written out for you. But But I think um, you know, for our listeners, as you're hearing this, you're in the right industry, no matter what company you are with, but you want to make sure that as that it's a solid, solid, good company, surround yourself with with the best people. So and it certainly sounds like you you all have done that um, in beautiful Spain and and to be a completely global company. But I'll tell you, it really impresses me launching a brand new company during a global pandemic. And I can see that it's, that it's going to take off really, really well for you. So, um, so I thank you for being our guest and I look forward to when you, I would love to come and see you in Spain, but there's a better chance I'll see you when you come to Texas. We have a motto here, Janet, that it's Bilbao loves you. And we, we, we will be very happy to, to have you here. And, and and the only thing I wanted to say is that I'm I'm in Spain, but the rest of the team is in the U.S. <laughs> it's in the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Our our company is based in in Texas, and okay. our office is there. Our logistics center is there, and and everything is happens in the in the U.S. and and I'm the one who is working remotely from yeah, from it, from Spain. Well, I I think you got the best. I think you got the best of best of the best living where you're at and with a great company, but your advice for, for anybody that is uh, thinking of starting 
a, a network marketing company from the ground floor. I know how that is very difficult. There's a lot of moving pieces. But uh, for anybody that is in network marketing, you heard uh, Gonzalo say it. You do need to surround yourself with the right people, whether that is your upline, a coach, um, being with the right company. So, so Gonzalo, I thank you for joining us. I thank you from the bottom of, of my heart. And I know our listeners are going to enjoy it. And uh, we will, you'll have access to everything. You'll be able to see how to get a hold of Gonzalo, but you will definitely, definitely want to check out all of his uh, information on LinkedIn. It is uh, very, very inspiring. So until next time, everybody have a great one. And we so appreciate you and congratulations on being part of the best industry in the world.